Cauliflower is one of the trendiest vegetables out there because it's so delicious and at the same time so versatile. But for me, I really like just simply cutting it into florets and warming it by roasting it in the oven and giving it that melt in your mouth but crispy kind of texture. Today, I'm gonna to be making a delicious roasted cauliflower with a raisin caper sauce with some chiffonade mint on it. It's delicious. Cauliflower is an awesome white vegetable. It's part of the metal element family. And what's cool about that is that it helps flush out anything in your lungs and your large intestine. And believe it or not, it actually helps create a rhythmic order in your body and in your life. Cauliflowers, capers, and mint are all metal element foods. Raisins are an earth element food. And butter and lemon are all wood element foods. So all together, these create a dish that will help you feel energized, purified, and really grounded. And all of these flavors together with the mix of bitter, sweet, savory, salty, will all just blend so well and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep the cauliflower and simply I'm just gonna rip off these leaves here. So next I'm going to chop off this bottom stem. And then what I'm gonna do is any of these leaves that you see here, I'm just gonna take the tip of my knife and then just start to chop them off as best as possible. I wanna make sure that I'm staying away from the actual floret because I don't want my knife to go all the way deep down. So now I'm gonna take the tip of my knife and then just start to cut off each of the florets so as you can see, I'm just taking my knife and very gently just cutting each one of those off. I'm gonna to try to make these as thick and as long as possible because that's sort of how I wanna plate this dish. Now what I'm gonna do is take off any extra leaves that you see, but I'm just gonna put these in a bowl. I'm gonna take some olive oil and generously just top it off. I'm also gonna add some salt and be really generous with my salt as well. This will bring out the flavor and the moisture from the cauliflower and then just top it off with some pepper. And then I just cut half of a lemon. I'm just gonna score the inside of the lemon a little bit because sometimes this makes it much easier to squeeze. And I'm just gonna give it a really good squeeze of the lemon. This is a tough lemon. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna use my hands and just coat the entire, every single piece. Now I wanna lay them on a sheet tray so I can roast them. And I'm roasting at 400 degrees and I'm gonna check them in about 30 minutes or so. That's mostly my go-to time. Let's just get all that nice juice in there. Good. Just for good measure, because I feel like it, let's just put a little bit more olive oil on here. Then a little bit more salt. I'm gonna pop in the oven for 30 minutes. So well, as the cauliflower is cooking, I'm gonna get started on the sauce. And so I have some golden raisins, capers, and then I have about three quarters of a cup of water. We're gonna mix in some sherry vinegar, some butter, and some salt into this. But first, I'm gonna cook everything on the stovetop first. So I'm gonna start by putting in some water, and it's about on medium heat now. And now I'm gonna put in the raisins and I want these to plump up really nicely. And next I'm gonna put in some capers and I drained the capers out, so don't forget to drain them. Now I'm just gonna mix this around and just let the water soak into the capers and soak into the golden raisins as well. I'm gonna add in about half a ta tablespoon of unsalted butter. And just let that melt in here. 
stir it together. So it's coming up to a pretty high heat, so I'm going to turn it down to a low heat because I want this to simmer, not boil. And I want this to go for about 15 minutes. So while this is simmering, and I have a few minutes on this, what I'm going to do is just start to mise en place my mint and I'm going to chiffonade it. So I'm just going to take off the bigger leaves of the mint that are pretty even in size. If I have larger ones, that's okay. But I'm going to take off the nice looking mint leaves and the larger ones I'm going to stack with the large ones, the medium ones I'm going to stack with the medium ones, and I'm going to do a chiffonade cut. Mint is just a really amazing herb because it's pretty much like a chameleon. And what happens is that when you ingest mint, it then decides whether it wants to warm your body or cool your body in the way that you naturally need. It's such a cool, it's a cool herb to have. I'm just going to take a few of these together. And in order to do a chiffonade, I like to roll them really tightly, but not tightly enough where you bruise the herb. And then you just see how it's all just together. And then I'm going to take my knife and roll it to really thin ribbons all together. It's important to have a really sharp knife for this. So that way they come out in these gorgeous ribbons. Oh, I love the smell of mint. It smells so good. Mm. So the raisins are now plump and juicy. This is incorporated well together. So I'm going to turn this off and now I'm going to put all these ingredients in the blender and make the sauce. All right, I've just poured all the raisins and capers and the liquid into here so I can easily just dump it inside the blender. Then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a tablespoon of butter at a time. And I'm going to add in about 10 tablespoons. I've already added in half of a tablespoon already, but now I'm going to work on incorporating it little by little. So I'm going to start with one, maybe a two, and then start to blend from here. All right, I think that's good enough for now. I'm gonna add in some more butter. This is a really rich sauce, but it's really good. Let's do this again. Scrape up the bits as much as possible. All right. Now I'm going to add in the last of the stick and see how I feel about it. Ah! <laughs> and see how I feel about it. That's funny. I always end up getting messy with this thing. I don't know how it happens. All right, so let's see how this came out. Oh my God, that is amazing. All right, it needs a little bit more salt. I'm just gonna add a pinch. And then also we need to add our sherry vinegar. So I'm gonna add about one teaspoon and I'm just gonna eyeball it. Ooh, that'll give it that nice fresh zing and bring out the butter flavor. All right. Let's see how this came out. Mmm, that is so good. I think it just needs a little bit more sherry. I like that tart kind of flavor. Oh my God, perfect, 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 perfect. That is so good. So now I'm just gonna put this in a vessel and then wait till the cauliflower is done. Do you hear that sizzle? The cauliflower looks so pretty. I love hearing the sizzle of the food when it comes out of the oven. It's just so amazing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the sauce. I just transferred it over to this little pan, little pot here, and I'm just going to drizzle it on the plate. And I think it's really fun to experiment with plating because it makes you just feel so much more confident about the food you eat 
and it, all, it lets you tap into your creative side. So I'm just going to liberally just put the sauce right down on the plate and start with that. Then what I'm going to do is take some pieces of cauliflower and, ow, they're a little hot, but I'm going to start to put them on the plate just in like a very artful kind of fashion. Nothing too crazy, but just something that looks sort of pretty. And then I'll just add a little bit more sauce on top and around. It's not the prettiest sauce ever, but it's damn delicious. Now I'm gonna top it off with some mint. So I'm gonna put the mint on top and around where the sauce is. Just drizzle it pretty liberally. And you'll be surprised with the taste of the mint and the capers and the raisins, just how good this really tastes. I'm a spice girl, so looking at this, I felt like it needed some red pepper flakes. So I'm just gonna toss this on, on top. Plus it adds that bit of color too. Looks so much better. I wanna add a squeeze of lemon on top and just a little bit more salt to season. I can't wait to try this. So excited. Mmm. Mm hmm. So good. The freshness of the mint, the saltiness of the capers, the sweetness of the raisins, plus the cauliflower is soft, but it's not totally melted. It's just the perfect texture and consistency. Oh, it's so good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you found this to be helpful and a delicious dish to make, definitely like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'm coming at you soon with more videos, so stay tuned. Take care, be well, bye.